Hello everyone. In this episode, we'll be discussing the concept of authenticity and its importance in today's world. Authenticity is a term that's frequently used in popular culture, but it's also a key theme in existentialist philosophy. At its core, authenticity refers to being true to oneself, one's values, and one's beliefs. In today's world, authenticity has become increasingly important as we navigate a complex and rapidly changing society. With the rise of social media and the pressure to conform to societal norms, it can be challenging to stay true to ourselves and our values. This is where existentialist ideas can be particularly useful in helping us understand the importance of authenticity and how we can strive to be authentic in our lives. Throughout this episode, we'll explore the relationship between authenticity and existentialism as well as provide practical examples of how existentialist ideas can help us cultivate authenticity in our lives. So, let's dive in and explore the importance of authenticity in today's world. Existentialism is a philosophical movement that emphasizes individual freedom and choice in the face of the meaningless and absurdity of the world. One of the most important concepts within existentialism is that of authenticity. In this episode, we will explore the existentialist view of authenticity and its relevance in today's world. At its core, authenticity is about being true to oneself and living in accordance with one's own values, desires, and beliefs. Authenticity is about living a life that is genuinely one's own, rather than conforming to societal norms or expectations. Existentialist philosophers such as Jean-Paul Sartre and Martin Heidegger have discussed the importance of authenticity. For Sartre, authenticity is about taking responsibility for one's own life and choices, rather than allowing others or external circumstances to dictate one's path. He believed that authenticity requires individuals to embrace their freedom and make choices that reflect their own unique perspective and values. Heidegger also emphasized the importance of authenticity, but from a slightly different perspective. He argued that authenticity requires individuals to confront the reality of their own mortality and the fact that their time on earth is limited. By embracing this reality, individuals can live in a way that is true to themselves and their own unique purpose. Both Sartre and Heidegger believe that authenticity is a fundamental aspect of human existence. Without authenticity, individuals are not truly living, but merely existing. They saw authenticity as a way to transcend the mundane and embrace the fullness of life. Authenticity has become an increasingly important concept in today's world, as people seek to express their true selves and find meaning in their lives. In the workplace, authenticity has become a buzzword, with companies emphasizing the importance of employees being true to themselves in order to foster a positive and productive work environment. On social media, authenticity has become a key factor in building a personal brand, with users seeking to present a genuine and authentic image of themselves to their followers. However, the pressure to conform to societal norms and expectations can often hinder authenticity. Many people feel the need to present a certain image of themselves in order to fit in or be accepted, rather than expressing their true thoughts and feelings. This can lead to feelings of anxiety, depression, and a sense of disconnection from oneself and others. Existentialist philosophers such as Jean-Paul Sartre and Martin Heidegger have emphasized the importance of authenticity as a fundamental aspect of human existence. According to Sartre, authenticity means being true to oneself and taking responsibility for one's own existence. He believed that in order to live an authentic life, one must be willing to confront the inherent uncertainty and absurdity of existence and make choices based on one's own values and beliefs rather than external expectations. Similarly, Heidegger argued that authenticity requires embracing the inevitability of one's own mortality and the finitude of human existence. He believed that by facing the reality of our own mortality, we can gain a deeper appreciation for life and the world around us, and live more authentically. In today's world, the relevance of authenticity lies in the fact that it allows us to live more meaningful and fulfilling lives. By being true to ourselves and embracing our own unique identities, we can find a sense of purpose and direction in life, and connect more deeply with others. However, this requires a willingness to confront our own fears and insecurities, and to resist the pressure to conform to external expectations. Furthermore, 
social media has created a culture of curated self-presentation where individuals often portray an idealized version of themselves to gain approval and validation from others. This can lead to a lack of authenticity and a sense of disconnection from one's true self. In personal relationships, authenticity is also crucial for building genuine connections and fostering trust. When individuals are not authentic in their interactions, it can lead to misunderstandings and a lack of intimacy. However, the pressure to conform to societal expectations and norms can make it challenging to be authentic. Many individuals feel the need to conform to certain standards to fit in and be accepted. This can lead to a sense of alienation from one's true self and a feeling of inauthenticity. Therefore, the concept of authenticity remains relevant today as individuals struggle to balance the need for social acceptance with the desire to be true to themselves. Overall, the idea of authenticity is a fundamental aspect of human existence and is closely tied to the philosophy of existentialism. As we navigate the complexities of modern life, it is essential to reflect on the importance of authenticity and strive to live in a way that is true to ourselves. One of the biggest challenges to living an authentic life is the fear of being judged by others. We often feel pressured to conform to societal norms and expectations, which can lead us to suppress our true selves. However, it's important to remember that authenticity is crucial for our personal growth and well-being. So, how can we overcome these barriers and live more authentically? One approach is to engage in regular self-reflection. By examining our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, we can gain a deeper understanding of who we are and what we value. This can help us identify areas where we may be suppressing our true selves and take steps to express ourselves more authentically. Another useful technique is mindfulness. By focusing on the present moment and observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment, we can become more aware of our authentic selves. This can help us make decisions that align with our true values and desires. Finally, it's important to embrace vulnerability. Sharing our true selves with others can be scary, but it can also be incredibly liberating. By being honest and open about our thoughts and feelings, we can form deeper connections with others and create a more authentic and fulfilling life. In summary, there are many strategies we can use to overcome the barriers to authenticity. By engaging in self-reflection, practicing mindfulness, and embracing vulnerability, we can live more authentic lives and experience greater personal growth and fulfillment. To wrap things up, we've explored the importance of authenticity in today's world through the lens of existentialist philosophy. We've seen how authenticity is not just a buzzword, but a fundamental aspect of human existence that can lead to a more fulfilling and meaningful life. As we go about our days, it's easy to fall into the trap of trying to fit in and conform to societal norms and expectations. But it's important to remember that true authenticity requires courage and vulnerability. So, I encourage you to reflect on your own life and consider how you can cultivate authenticity in your relationships, work, and personal life. Maybe that means being more open and honest with those around you, or taking the time to really reflect on your values and passions. And if you found this episode helpful or thought-provoking, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. It's listeners like you who help us continue to create content that explores the big ideas and questions of our time. Thank you.